everybody is always convinced that things were better before, you know, really, that the world is collapsing. But the world is not collapsing. The world has always been deadly and dangerous, always. In this city, everybody is, is, is moaning about the collapse of the liberal order. Actually, it was, it was first, it was a disorder, and first, secondly, it was a Western-dominated order. Basically, we are moaning about the fact that we are losing the power. Look at the composition of the Security Council. It's 1945. You don't have, uh, you don't have India, you don't have Brazil, you don't have Japan, you don't have an African member. These countries, which are new powers, they have emerged, and, and, and let's try to work, let's try to work with them. And that's the message that my, my president, President Macron, is really uh, repeating. And we will be able to do it only if the U.S. is with us. The Americans simply don't want to see ourselves become the policemen of the world or be the policemen of the world, intervene. The, the question I think that's going to be raised in the United States is whether one can distinguish that kind of engagement from different kinds of international engagements. And right now, the Trump administration seems to say that all international engagement is something that we need to look at simply in terms of whether mathematically it helps U.S. interests very, in a very narrow sense, as opposed to saying we could do away with the kind of military engagements that we've been involved in in the past that have hurt us, but also the countries in which we've been engaged, and focus on different kinds of engagement, diplomacy, multilateralism, working with others to advance more collective interests. And I think that's the debate, at least in the United States, that is going to take place over the coming years, is between those two visions.